some hair from lordhair.com. I've tried several companies, including Hair Direct, who now bleach their hair with clothing dye, making it impossible to bleach the knots. If you don't bleach the knots properly, then it looks like you're wearing doll's hair. So I got two of them, $154 American each, including delivery. It arrived within a week. This hair color is number five, which basically means medium brown in terms of darkness. Medium is the darkness level of the brown. They have about four different types of brown, or maybe five. That's just a hairnet that keeps it intact. So on the underside here, we've got French lace with hairs tied into it, even stitching to reinforce it so that it's curved for a skull shape, which only works for people who need a full cap. This bit here, they super glue this on, and that means if you tear this off, try to tear it off, it will rip the lace. So I don't know if you need acetone or something, but usually I find anything within this region here is now discardable. That part of the hair is all destroyed because of this sticker. They should make it so that the sticker can actually come off with your fingernails. So I've measured my own head and I've come up with this stencil. Made out of a, I think it was a Chinese uh, takeaway container or something similar. So out of this one hair piece that was $154, I can cut about three of these out. So we've got a white surface here. Can you zoom in on that? It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. The lighter the hair is, the easier it is to bleach the knots blonde. I think they've done a pretty good job with that. Uh, hair Direct, I don't think I've got any samples left. I might have thrown them all away. But you'd find if you looked at Hair Direct that if you looked through the hair netting that it would be just like black dots, big fat black dots all over the place. So don't buy from Hair Direct. They cut corners with their manufacturing process to save money for themselves and maximize their profits. I'm gonna trace around this. Normally I would do it with some sort of makeup pencil, but they're both kind of empty and I can't be bothered sharpening that and it crumbles. So I'm just gonna use a texture or a marker. So I'm just gonna start with that one just positioned on the edge there. So if you look at it from the underside, the way I slide the hair, the scissor through the hair, it's gotta be in such a way that you're missing the hairs. If you did it like that, you'd be cutting, you say you'd be cutting hairs. You cannot do that, that'll destroy the hair piece. So watch carefully. So I'm cutting through French lace and preferably not any hairs. Probably wondering how I measured that Chinese stencil, the Chinese takeaway container stencil. The answer is I measured with a piece of string on my forehead where the hairs are missing. So I got the height and, sorry, the width, oh, yeah, width and length basically as a rectangle. Then I placed that rectangle over my head without any glue or anything and cut around the edges where I thought it needed to go. And it was just trial and error because I couldn't figure out a way to measure it neatly. So I just trial and errored it, wasted a few hair pieces, and eventually came up with that particular shape. And 
and that's the hairpiece. So I'll shed that. Then I'll put it under a shower, put it under conditioner, shampoo, and uh, after I've put glue on my head, I will put that on my forehead. Overall, with this piece, that's worth three, that's worth three. I'll get six hair pieces for $308 delivered. And because it's French lace, even though it's rougher and thicker and less realistic, and you probably have to wear your hair forward at all times instead of back, because it's just not believable, French lace, only Swiss lace is believable, but they don't sell it in stock pieces, not from this company. Um, I'll be able to reuse it because it's thick. Basically, this is the front hairline for me. I will be peeling that back every three or four days and putting glue on my forehead around these edges and then putting this back down. Pulling glue off this front edge all the time, every three or four days. Because while the hair piece stays on for three weeks, the front hairline gets messy. From the pillow, from the shower. So I've spent a while waiting for this glue to dry here. So now I'm just going to check how tacky the glue is. It's been about 20 minutes of just having this glue Walker Ultra Hold on my uh... So the glue's coming down to about there. I can see the sweat coming through. I gotta get out of this hot, hot, hot room as soon as possible. I was gonna bring the fan in here, but it would have interfered with the microphone. And also this room is just filled with big lights at the moment. So how do I know where the front hairline is that I'm gluing to? Um, I do it often, so it's approximate, but often I make a mistake. Like for example, these bits here, I think I've glued too low there as well. It probably goes up to there. Sometimes I change my mind and then I end up cutting the hairpiece after it's on my head. So I'll be back to you again in another 15 minutes. Okay, so the second layer of glue, which I didn't really need, but I didn't do it properly the first time, has seemed to have dried. So now I'm taking this hair piece, I'm going to inspect it for any protruding hairs on the back end. Don't get a razor and shave that off because it'll obviously cut the knots. So just take it out by hand if you find any. If you don't want them sticking down, it makes it messy. I'll take out any of these stitchings that they stupidly put through. Um, Get your alcohol spray, spray it over the glue, take your hairpiece, trying to find the middle there, top centre, place that back here by grabbing the edges, the alcohol makes it slippery for a bit, About 30 seconds. This hair colour doesn't seem to match perfectly, but when, when I brush it in, it should be alright. I hope this is the colour I need. Oh, fuck. You have very bad, bad visibility from back there, but I need a camera crew, not just some... Right, take that off. Hairbrush.
I'm going to make sure that the front hairline is centered and pulled down enough. Looks like I cut it big enough this time. Sometimes I cut it too small, I've got to try to stretch it. Okay, taking down the cent front center, bring it down here, and then pulling it across. I haven't put enough glue at the front center because I never know exactly until I put the hairpiece on how much I need. I'm going to dip this in water, give myself more chance to have control over the hair. Dry hair is uncontrollable, wet hair is controllable, or damp hair, should I say, is controllable. What's happening with the water and the glue? Is it wrecking the hold? Probably. I don't care. I still need to control the hair. I'm going to brush that back. Even ripping back the front hairline, which is not positioned yet. Got a lot of grey hairs growing on the sides now. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Age gracefully. Well, if my history record is any indication, I don't think I will age gracefully at all. Modify myself cybernetically if necessary. We can rebuild him. But first, I need to secure the front hairline. A lot of overhang there. This is always a problem if you don't measure your hair properly. Overhang. A significant overhang. You'll be careful here, you could cut off too much. All right. Comb. Incidentally, this is also the way you sort of initially find out your hairpiece size when you first start. Obviously, I didn't do a good enough job. Well, it's inaccurate. No, I can't cut it just too... See how I'm just digging in there to make sure I don't get any hairs? This has got hair in it. Always gets messy when this happens. Walker hold to hold is messy, but as I've said before, it's a two stars out of five. And despite how shit it is, it is the only glue that works. Unless you live in perfect conditions, never sweat, there's no sunshine, there's no wind, in which case other glues might just work. You never go outdoors, you never do anything, you just sit in the perfect, you sit in a chair, your life is just easy and you don't do anything. That's when other glues might work, but not real life. Real life is Walker Ultra Hold. Okay, so I waited 15 minutes after painting my front hairline with Walker's Ultra Hold glue. Walker Ultra Hold glue. Now I'm going to go from the center down and then pull it out so that the center, which is the most important bit, the most visible part, is in the proper position. And then I'm going to go down like that. And then I'm going to get the brush. And I'm going to brush it down into position. This brush is missing some of its nubs, the white bits. That's scratching me a bit. I've got another brush in my backpack somewhere, but from the time I went to the gym, I guess. So I'm just gonna cut this hair and deal with the front hairline afterwards. So I filled this uh, old um, split remedy or whatever it is um, with just plain tap water. So I can use it as a spray bottle. So for manageability, the hair needs to be wet, 
I'm gonna take all this shit and I'm gonna put this in the toilet and put those other things in the bin later on. Put this to the side. So, the, up, the position up here is good. I can't see any transition there. So I lined that up nicely, which I'm happy with. And then now I'm going to push it down like that. And then I'm going to go across from the back and I'm going to do four layers. Brush this one back. So this hair length is by default six inches long. I think I want the front hairline to be about 3.5 inches long. Not that I'll measure it, I'm just estimating. I'm going to slide my fingers in there, put these in my teeth. And I'm going to start off with a length that's kind of similar but no less than 1.5 inches long. Because otherwise it'll just stick up because of the lace. You need to have some length to it. So the first layer is 1.5 inches or so. Then I'm going to take this back, level two. Okay. A major determining factor, of course, when cutting my hair is how long was it last time people saw me. Don't want to suddenly sprout an inch in length overnight. But the way I brush it is kind of what determines the way it looks like. I don't know if people know, but I know it looks better, that's for sure. And I kind of suspect that they don't know because sometimes I come out of the closet to certain people in my life and I'm like, what? I didn't know that. So that's pretty amazing. It's like they didn't know Clark Kent was Superman either. Because he wears glasses. But it's surprising how much people don't expect people to wear hair and therefore what you can get away with. Everything depends on the knots, if there are little dots to be seen. It's because the knots weren't bleached properly. So as I said, I'm going to glue that last bit down as well.